William Shatner just underwent the procedure along with hundreds of others who are not so famous. Yeah, a growing number of elderly and disabled Americans are looking for relief from pain in the promising new field of stem cell therapy. But as KPIX 5 Susie Steinwell discovered, buyers need to beware. The FDA has been warning people about stem cell therapies that have not been proven to be safe or effective. The FDA is trying to increase its oversight over clinics offering these therapies, but right now, hundreds of them are operating with no oversight whatsoever. Hi there, are you Jason Gregory? Yeah. Meet Jason Gregory, former jacuzzi salesman, now sells stem cell injections. Some doctors are saying this is really dangerous. I'm not a doctor, I'm a case manager, so I'm probably not qualified to talk about that. He's on his way in to host a free dinner seminar at the Buttercup Grill in Walnut Creek to promote what, according to the invitation, is a therapy that supposedly can cure everything from knee pain and arthritis to stiff and sore joints and difficulty sleeping. A steady stream of people showed up, including Audrey Moy, a retired consumer fraud investigator with the district attorney's office. She's now a volunteer with KPIX 5 Consumer Watch and was curious to find out how the therapy might help a pain in one of her legs. The whole emphasis he put was it, it was great. She says the presenter explained the stem cells come from human umbilical cord tissue. But I believe they target seniors and uh, they make promises that I don't think in my opinion, that they could fulfill, saying that we've never had any bad comments, everyone's had great success. She says at the end came the pitch for a free consultation at the East Bay Health and Wellness Center in Walnut Creek. So Audrey signed up. Audrey told us when she came here to East Bay Health and Wellness, she never actually saw a doctor. Instead, she saw a chiropractor who ran her through a couple of exercises. Then Jason, remember that salesman we showed you at the beginning of the story? He came in, asked her a couple of questions, and then told her that she qualified for an $8,000 stem cell therapy and that she should pay up front. It's a clever mixture of good science and hokum. Kevin McCormick is with the California Institute for Regenerative Medicine, the state agency that funds stem cell research at institutions and companies throughout California. Stem cell therapy can potentially cure some of the most devastating diseases, but it is still a relatively new field. All FDA-approved clinical trials have to register on a federal database. We checked. East Bay Health and Wellness is not on that list. Kevin says there are hundreds of unapproved clinics popping up all over the country selling stem cell injections for thousands of dollars with no oversight whatsoever. So it's almost like they treat it like it's magical, like this Harry Potter world where you wave a wand over these cells and say repair them, bone them, stick it in your body and it fixes everything you want. And this isn't magic, it's science. The therapies can be dangerous as well. It just sounded too good to be true and it, it was too good to be true. This woman went blind from an unapproved stem cell treatment in Florida in which stem cells harvested from her belly were injected into her eyes. More recently, 12 people got infections from contaminated umbilical cord stem cell products from a lab in San Diego. The East Bay Health and Wellness Center did not respond to our repeated requests for an interview or a statement. So I thought, wow, this is a great opportunity. Jane Combs and her husband, Philip Horton, went to one of East Bay Health and Wellness's dinner seminars. They saw Jason Gregory's presentation that we weren't allowed in for. Very smooth guy, and they had uh, movie stars vouching for their therapy. They even went so far as to book an appointment at the clinic to consider stem cell therapy. But the second they got inside, they said it was all red flags. What made me think that I needed to go home and do some research was the fact that they didn't want you to leave the room. What's gonna happen a week or two? You know, can a chiropractor help me? Or am I now gonna be having to pay for a medical doctor to step in? In the end, they passed on the treatment. So how are the stem cell injections working? We've heard some concerns from people that there's actually no medical benefit to this type of stem cell therapy. Okay. What do you say to that? Well, I think it's pretty much an elective type of thing for anybody. I personally have gotten improvement. I've had family members have had improvement. What would you tell people who are worried about the fact that this is not FDA approved? Well, I'm really not prepared to comment on that at this point right now. So injecting stem cells this way is not illegal, but doing so without a medical director is. And we've been trying to confirm if East Bay Health and Wellness has a medical director, 
Over the phone, somebody told us that they do have one, but they wouldn't let us talk to that person. They wouldn't tell us who that person was, and they denied all of our requests for interviews. Susie Steimel, KPIX 5.